if you ask people, if you had word association and you said globalization, country associated with globalization, Singapore. We're would, at top of the list. Exactly. Right. But right now, the word that increasingly is being bandied about is deglobalization because of sanctions, because of uh, constraints, you know, sent, freezing central bank assets, because of supply chains, because of COVID, US-China frictions. What is your sense of how this balance between globalization and deglobalization is going, and what concerns you here? It will, uh, I mean, to us, ideally, we are all in one flat world. Tom Friedman used to write books like that. But it's not one flat world. There are not only hills and valleys, but deep chasms which you cannot easily cross, and some of which are being deepened. And we have to make a living trying to belong to the biggest, flattest, and safest part of that world. I cannot see countries going back, each one doing completely their own thing. You cannot make an iPhone totally in America any, any more than you can make a Boeing aeroplane completely in America. You do need international trade. You do need commerce. You have, you need to have processes to make sure you trust your partners and that you can uh, rely on one another and there's redundancy in case the lines fail. But international interdependence and economic cooperation, I think, will have to continue. The challenge is, how do I talk about reshoring and um, rebuilding U.S. manufacturing and all these good things without it being captured and going overboard and becoming another name for protecting non-viable economic, non um, economic activities, impoverishing your own workers, including the middle class. And that's your challenge. Uh, to us, the question is in this world, what can we do to make sure that we are part of trusted supply chains, that we can continue to work with you and to maintain that relationship, and you can continue to trust us, and uh, we can do business together. No, not just two of us, but that there's an ink blot which is big enough so that many countries in the world can cooperate, and where you have countries which are beyond the border, some kind of filter so that you don't completely shut them out. Because I think if you say you're going to shut out the Chinese completely, you won't kill them, but you're going to hurt yourself considerably. 